<laughs> so, so here we have a high silicon D02. Yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so who are you? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Justin Tao uh, from High Silicons. Uh, and Rob who are you? Sway from Lenaro. All right. So you've been working on the D01 a little bit. Yeah, I've got a bunch of D01s and stuff in my build farm for GCC development. Like ten of them. Yeah, we have ten of them basically in our build and automation system. Um, and actually, I use them pretty much all day, every day. So what do you think about this one? Oh, I've classically been waiting for this for months since I heard it was in progress. So it was fun to actually play with one yesterday, finally. Yeah, this is our latest uh, board uh, with uh, our uh, latest uh, SOC in, uh, on the board. The SOC name is P660, and um, each uh, uh, processor has uh, uh, 16, 16 cores in it. And uh, now we have already enabled the uh, XG, the SF, SFP, the SATAs, and uh, the PCIe. And, uh, so there's like 12 SATA ports? Yeah, there are 8 SATA ports for uh, one, one processor, and uh, there are another spare 4 SATA port, uh, ports for another, uh, uh, another processor. There can now be 2 we, processors? Yeah, now we just enable one processor. But uh, uh, maybe months later, or uh, <laughs> maybe two or three mon months later, we will enable two uh, mm -hmm. processors on this board, and maybe uh, each uh, each processor will ha will ha have uh, sixty four uh, will have uh, uh, 30, 32 cores in it, and oh, nice. uh, with uh, thirty two uh, megabytes uh, megabytes L three cache in it. And, so, uh, so we're talking 32 cores of ARM Cortex A57. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's a lot of performance, no? A little bit more than your tablet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, obviously. Well, this is more of a server enterprise class machine, and this is a glorified <laughs> telephone. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, designed especially for the, some uh, heavy load uh, scenario. So Which is what I use my D01s for since I build do a lot of continuous build and test integration of the GNU tool chain. Yeah. I destroy most hardware. So amazingly all my D01s are still running. Yeah. All of them are still running. I can't talk about some of the brands I've killed in the last few months, but yeah, my D01s still run. We're not using all 16 cores because it doesn't work yet, but the four that are there work reliably so which and that's brands, more important. Which brands have you burned up? Uh, I'm not going to mention that. Because you, <laughs> you can, you I can kill hardware it. pretty religious, ah, pretty frequently. The, uh, <laughs> the latest uh, kernel, uh, 3.19, has been uh, enabled. Uh, just, oh, nice. use, just as you, you see. Okay. So and what kind uh, of you can see the uh, 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 there, there, there are 16 uh, CPU cores in, in the in, in one one processors. Yeah, and yesterday yeah. when I was doing uh, toolchain builds and stuff, it was nice to monitor and actually see that I was using yeah. all 16 cores yeah. and watching my processes migrate based on load. That was kind of nice. <laughs> okay. Because it actually worked. Uh, so, so yesterday <laughs> was the first day you saw it? Yeah. Yeah. So what happened? Well, of course I tried to build GCC on it. <laughs> uh, and uh, the Ubuntu 16, uh, uh, 64 bits, uh, 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 is not uh, available yet. Yeah. Uh, and then our and problem was the network around this went down. It had nothing to do with the hardware. That kind of screwed the rest of the yeah. test. <laughs> well, we will try to resolve it. Maybe uh, weeks later we will enable the Ubuntu 64 bits. Nice. Just just weeks, uh, I think. <laughs> what does that change when you have the 64 bit Ubuntu? Um, uh, then firstly, we are uh, support uh, more uh, uh, more application based mm -hmm. on 64 bits. Uh, secondly, we, uh, um, of course, the performance will, will, will be better, I think. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that actually need 64-bit. Once you start getting into cloud computing and running OpenStack and all that going, you kind of need full 64-bit top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I just, uh, uh, this, this morning, by this morning, I just uh, tried to enable the Linux container uh, in our, uh, in our boats. Just, mm -hmm. uh, I, I can show it. Uh, Linux container. Start, start. Uh, attached. I have started. Yeah, I, I have started. Yeah. Yeah. I just, <laughs> just uh, 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 enabled it. Justin, come to Yeah, sorry. It's been a long day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, what kind of questions would you ask him? Hmm? 
if you were to uh, try to ask questions about the ask, uh, status okay. of the software and the board and everything. We, we have also um, uh, deploy our deploy our our Lava server on our board. Oh, so. nice! <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe I can show it to you. Okay, let's see the. We just uh, deploy uh, this. This uh, server uh, we are imp in include the uh, uh, MySQL. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, sorry. I don't uh, connect the network. <laughs> 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 Disconnected network. So, so, sorry. Okay, this is why we love demos. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> because I just uh, closed the laptop. Okay. I, I went on um, one time. What are you doing right now on your uh, on your tablet? Oh, I'm debugging a GCC problem. So remotely accessing... Uh, so I'm actually logged into an um, ARM V8 board sitting in Cambridge, England. So this is the lava? Uh, this is not in, in lava. This is in the... Uh, so um, we have um, two different build farms within Lenaro. We have the lava lab and then the toolchain team has its own lab. We have sort of different uses, although we just had a meeting about integrating what we're doing. but. Um, we beat on hardware very differently, whereas a lot of the existing lava stuff bases on building kernels and rebooting them constantly. We have a tendency to bring up targets and let them run for months and months and just do continuous compiler testing. Every time we do a commit to GCC, we fire up a build of however many configurations we support and stuff and then run full testing and then validation on every commit. It's pretty hard on hardware because we often CPU load will hit, you know, 100% and keep it there for a long time. That's why I kill boards. I make them overheat really good. So what do you need to run all that stuff on the ARM boards? Well, there's nothing like running on real hardware to make sure your compiler is producing the right code. Um, and then some of the stuff we're about to start using Lava for is uh, actually using our, we just got out of the meeting for it a few minutes ago, is we'll be actually using all of our kernel, our toolchain builds from head of trunk to build kernels and then make sure that it actually boots in the hardware because we want to catch compiler bugs that create kernel bugs before any of the distributions do because right now there's a sort of a lag time um, between them getting our compilers and getting back to us about obscure bugs. So we're just trying to have better and better, better validation of the whole ecosystem between the kernel and the tool chain. Because that's kind of what Lenaro, I mean, it's kind of our service we provide to the community is validation on all this stuff. So making sure there are no bugs in, in what area of Linux and where? Well, I mean, so as far as the tool chain is concerned, as you want to compiling the kernels easy, it's a matter of does it still boot? And you'd be surprised how many times. For a long time, the kernel development was very stuck on specific compiler versions often not upgrading for like a really 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 long time because toolchain changes freak out kernel developers because we make their life difficult. Um, Lenar was kind of different because we're really having to push both the compiler performance and the kernel performance and so unlike a lot of people um, in Lenaro we, we typically run at the tip of mainstream for both tool chains and kernels and that's kind of our idea is testing both and you kind of have to do that because you know people that are building ARM V8 hardware want all the performance improvements that are we're working on pretty much all the time. So you were at High Silicon right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Are you a signee at uh, Lenaro or? Yeah, uh, maybe from this year I will be a signee, uh, uh, focus on focusing on the virtualization field because we, we think that the virtualization is a very, very important uh, uh, function for 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 for, uh, for some uh, special for for the network uh, server yeah. or some some something uh, some something like this. Huawei is uh, pretty big in networking. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. and I think you're completely right. Virtualization yeah. is the big thing these days for cloud, yeah. and this kind of class of hardware should should support that rather so, well. So, yeah. So this morning, I just tried to uh, enable the container uh, Linux container on our boats firstly, and now maybe I can show it to you. Um, uh, I I have created a, a, a container named uh, Justin Container, and I have studied and. Uh, uh, then I can uh, I can attach it, attach it. yeah yeah I can attach it. then you can see you oh, we have uh, uh, in, in, entered uh, a container it is not uh, uh, in the host now you, you you can see the name the name is uh, Justin Container not is the uh, Linaro uh, oh. developer yeah do you see it okay. 
Uh, this is uh, the container we, uh, I just uh, enabled it uh, this morning. And th there is a uh, Lava website we enabled it, uh, a Lava uh, service in, in our boats, and you can see it from this uh, website. And, uh, just from uh, Lava, the good yeah, yeah. by itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this means we uh, we will um, enable lava 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 by our ourselves arms uh, uh, arms inside uh, servers and machines. Okay, and uh, um, we also do some um, like uh, uh, do some te testing and um, benchmark on it. But uh, the, the the data is uh, I think the data is. Can be public now, so I can't. Why? Show. Um, Secret performance? Uh, no, uh, because we, we think the data is not precise uh, so far. So uh, maybe we we will to pro perfect and uh, improve the benchmark, and um, sure. and then we will uh, give give out the 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 data to to to, to publish. So what's sure. it's brand new hardware. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not quite all there yes, yet. Because so. we just. Uh, Enable this border by uh, last uh, uh, Saturday. <laughs> so, so we're just glad to see. There are so it. many many work needed to to to, to yeah. So what do you think about do. the the work they're doing at High well, Silicon? Well, of course we're glad to see it and stuff. So I mean, as I said, I, I've killed a lot of uh, ARM v7 hardware specifically, and so my D01s have been pretty reliable. Mm -hmm. And so I've been kind of looking forward since now that Lenar is shifting a lot of energy into the ARM v8, since the ARM v7 is pretty solid and stable. Um, we actually need some good stable ARM v8 platforms. Yeah. I mean, Nero has been working on ARM v8 for three plus years, four? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, and a lot of that's really coming to fruition. And we're, but the problem is we actually haven't seen much ARM v8 hardware. And what little stuff comes out is typically very, very early silicon and very, very early hardware, and so we kill it in about a week. Makes good door stops. Um, but they said our D01s have been good, so we've been hoping that the D02 is going to be a good workhorse. Yeah. Um, and then, um, uh, uh, in, in, in soon later, we will provide more hardware to you, <laughs> so that you can work better mm. on this this device. Okay. How soon? Um, uh, no more than sorry. no more than three months, I think. No more than three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be large quantities for all the developers. Um, the, yeah. Uh, at uh, that time, we will we will have enough hardware for all our mm. development and uh, mm. uh, 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 for all our developers and uh, for our customers and uh, something. How, how, how much performance do you think there is in there? So, good question, because I'm less, I mean, from my side of the world, I'm less worried about performance because I'm only compiling the compiler. What I'm worried about is stability on their heavy load. Yeah. And so in a sense, compiling a toll chain will keep all 16 cores busy and yeah. typically keep them busy at a pretty high CPU load. So I'm really curious about it just playing running those loads for a really long time. And I said, I've had really good luck with the D01s. A lot of boards, I'll build two or three tool chains in the course of a few hours and they overheat and stop working. <laughs> so it'll, it'll build step faster than what you used to, right? That would be nice too, because we do so many um, backports and validation testing. The faster it gets done, the more validation I can, can do, basically. Um, and then, and the faster validation happens, it means the more and more. So if we want to start doing things like using our tool chain, building the kernel, and then testing it on the hardware. Right now, we just don't have enough hardware and time in the day to do quite that exhaustively. Um, and as we get more and more automated, um, it's a lot easier for us to just keep it busy all the time. Right. And before, there was a bunch of people around the table here. You were showing some stuff about it, right? You were showing demos. Uh, what were you showing people about this board on the screen before? Uh, yeah, I just uh, uh, just uh, show, show it. There, uh, we enable a lava server on our uh, arm inside the board. And, um, and we also enable a, con uh, a Linux container just uh, by this, uh, this, uh, this morning. And um, we can... Uh, we, we have already enabled the uh, multi boot, boot mode. For example, the PXC, the uh, provisions, the uh, NFS, and uh, the SATA. Now, maybe we can show it to you. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Re report. And, uh, That's what you guys were working on when I was here earlier today, yeah. is PXC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have already. Um, uh, uh, already.
we can we can start it from Saturn now and also enable the Pixie and uh, NFS and uh, something like uh, this. Now I can just show the the uh, SATA boot, booting up for you. This is um, putting up uh, in UEFI. Yes. Here, here we can select uh, the, the one is for uh, putting up from SATA and the two is uh, putting up uh, from from P Pixie, and uh, four is uh, putting up for, by provision command. Now I I can select one for for a demo. Here we can select uh, different uh, uh, root FS. For example. Mm -hmm. uh, a mini system or uh, open source or uh, Ubuntu. Maybe we can try the Ubuntu. Okay. Now the uh, the kernel is beginning. Uh, SATA is enabled and uh, the network is enabled. Okay. Uh, the Air uh, network uh, is uh, um, not available yet. Because uh, I need to rebuild the, the, the kernel for oh. for the LC container. So you see okay. CPU for talking? Yeah, LC. Because uh, we use that for benchmarking. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you uh, now uh, we we have uh, enter the we have enter the the uh, the Ubuntu system. Okay. So oh, that's cool. Okay. So that's a pretty cool board. Yeah. Uh, PCI Express. Yeah, yeah this uh, two PCI wow. this is slots uh, for for this one um, processor and this this two is spared uh, um, for for this one two processor. Two processors can do Yeah, maybe. And how many RAM? Four per. What is this? Um, four per processor. Yeah, they are they are how four. How many gigabytes of RAM? How many? Uh, maybe uh, there are. Uh, I don't know the maximum um, uh, memory uh, is how how many, but the. And now, uh, at least uh, it will support uh, uh, one, one, two, eight um, gigabytes. I think. Nice. Yeah. That should be good enough. Okay. Right. Cool. And it's tons of. And there, yeah, there are eight uh, SATA interface for for SATA and uh, uh, to connect uh, this one processor. And there are two. Uh, there are four another uh, SATA uh, uh, ports for this oh, one for processor. Other core. Yeah, okay. for for other core. And there are two uh, SFP plus uh, interface for network, and there are two normal gigabytes uh, uh, Ethernet uh, port for 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 this one. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So thanks a lot for showing this off and okay. talking about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much.